Hi Coffet family, today is a very exciting day. We're going to talk all about these caterpillars turning into chrysalis. It's so exciting. So come on in. Let's zoom in real close. I want you to see what's happening right here. So four of our caterpillars have made it to the top at this point. And what they are trying to do is turn into a J shape. Now you can see one that's kind of hanging right here. And he's acting kind of upset right now because that caterpillar is really close to knocking him off. If he gets knocked off, he may still crystallize at the bottom of the cup, um, but he may have a wounded wing, um, or he may not be able to turn into a chrysalis. So uh, for protection to survive, uh, they created some more webbing at the top of the cup. If you want to zoom in right here and see the webbing at the top, remember they have that webbing so they don't fly off or something doesn't happen to them. So they webbed at the top, and um, they're crawling up there so that they can hang and turn into chrysalises. If you see at the bottom right here, right at the bottom right there, they once they hang, they shed the last of their exoskeleton, the last of their skin, and start to wrap themselves into a chrysalis. So for uh, sake of, so you can see a little clear picture, I have a picture right here for you of a chrysalis. So this is what the chrysalis is gonna end up looking like when it's all finished spinning. And here's a good question for you. Do you think that the caterpillar is still living or is it non-living in a chrysalis? It's living, it's actually living inside the chrysalis. For food and water, the caterpillars, just like the hungry caterpillar and Eric Carl, have been eating and drinking a lot, a lot of food so that they, kind of like bears that they're gonna go into hibernation and they're gonna use all that food and water and energy to keep themselves hydrated. The chrysalis is gonna be nice and hard after a few days and that's going to protect them. And then they did the webbing as well. So they're gonna be all good to go for the next couple of days. So really important to keep in mind for us is we cannot touch them right now. If we touch them at all and they fall down, it's going to be really hard for them to get back up again. So we have to be really careful for the next few days as they hang and then they got to start wrapping themselves in the chrysalis. Um, so that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. They're going to stay in their chrysalis form for a few days. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and transfer them into the butterfly net. It's going to be so exciting, my friends. Okay, that's all I have for you today. Have a good day. Bye.